fucking know. What's up, YouTube? Ooh, man, my hair is kind of meshy, man. I'm gonna. There we go. Got my hat back on. Now we are ready to shoot. So, I want to cover three things in this video. Speed off the start, off the ready go. Pulses for active recovery. And it just feels good. And um, we got my favorite movement, rising. One of the best ways to train speed would be ghost arm wrestling. And that's where you just pretend you're gripping up with some random dude, get in that comfortable zone of where you are ready to blast off. My style probably be like Dave Patton or, or, or Travis Bajan because you know, I'm up here all angsty, you know, I'm uncomfortable and I just want to fall into my comfortable spot. I would just do exactly what I would need to do in a regular ready start competition go. Get my foot position, get my hip dug in the table, you know, I'm nice and close and I'll just glide. When I'm doing this movement, I like to think about my cheek, like slamming into the table, because I know the table is eminent. This table will reach my cheek very soon. That means I'll win. You can rev up your engine, go a little bit faster. Right? I'm just getting used to the movement, and I'll switch it around. Get on your ready go position. Speed it up if you like. It's just about building that table confidence because you just want to be like, this is my matrix. This is my thing. And if you're not good enough, get off my table. I'm not even that good enough to say that. So, but I would like to. Once you got, you know, that going on, you're in that groove, you're warmed up, you can actually add a band to your uh, to your speed. It should be light, it should be very elastic. Nothing too tense. Cause you're working on speed here, fellas. All right, grab it here. Get your foot dug in there. Get your hip nice and attached. It really depends on your mood, on what type of reps you want to do. I don't care about the reps, I just care about how I feel. Did I just say the same? I care about intensity over volume. So I want really quality reps. The speed, what else can I say for speed? I would just say get comfortable, like maybe throw on your tennis shoes. All right, let's talk about pulses, all righty. Pulses are pretty unconventional. You don't really see people doing them in commercial gyms or uh, or it's not even programmed in conventional lifts like bodybuilding, calisthenics, powerlifting. It's just not really a thing. But in arm wrestling, I think it's super, super important. It Not, not only does it uh, help you heal your arms, you know, sense blood to your arms, um, it's a great way to get warmed up, to rev up your engine, for you to you know blow up and explode on the on the ready go, um, I would say go light to medium weight. You could go heavier, you know, once you get more advanced with the techniques. But pulsing is really about being super comfortable in tiny, short range of motions. And the angles get weird, the movements get weird. But if you like the movement, if you and you like the angle, and you find that groove, you can really just bang out like 20 to 100 reps. All right, enough talking. We got 40 pounds right now. I want to work on my riser, nice and tight. Tiny, super small movement. You can just do. And it doesn't matter the tempo. It matters what. You like, you enjoy. I do like the bouncy effect. Feels good on my tendons. And uh, thing about pulses, it is universal. You can hit it with any single handle you'd like. All right, you're using your cone handle. You can further dissect the movement. Let's say you want to just hit fingers. Limit yourself to just that finger movement. And really just concentrate. Wrenching our wrist. You don't have to do sound effects. But they do sure help. 
my objective with the with the pulses is send blood, work on refining my CNS control. Cause you can go, you can just focus on the certain movement and the certain pressure you want to hit. I know Devin Lorette is a weirdo, a strange cat. This pulley setup, he can do it like behind the shoulder, like this. But I don't really train that because um, my table is not set up that way. But maybe when I get more advanced, I could uh, see how that would work. Pulsing, oh yeah. Pulsing can be done with two hands. Bang, bang. I'm just sending blood to my further extremities, working on my control. Okay, I don't wanna make this video way too long, but now we're on to my favorite part and my favorite thing to do when I train arm wrestling, and that would be rising. So I like to, I like to rock this tiny, tiny belt because um, I just like the way it feels and I can really concentrate on my grip because it's, it's a tiny fist. And when it's a tiny fist, I'm the strongest. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, I like to place all the pressure right on my index knuckle, sometimes further within my palm, but usually it's ranges from my door knocking knuckles to my index knuckle. I'm building up a nice callus right now. It's kind of pretty, yeah? So let's say this is attached to a high attached pulley or a low one, it's still the same pressure. Um, I do supinate a touch. Can you see? All right, I think, I think you can see. Just a touch. And I either lock my arm and lock my wrist and I move my whole body or I just keep my wrist mobile and I'll do some of these. But usually not that frequently. I like to lock it and then rep it out just like this. If this gets, uh, if this gets uh, used and, and weared out, like I, I start fatiguing my door knocker knuckles, I'll just switch it right, yeah. Switch it right there, boom, hit it like that. Once that gets tired, I'll switch it here and I can really actively pronate. And that is my favorite thing to do. I will like three out of the like five times I, I lift during the week, it would be rising pronation um, because I just think it's so important to uh, get that that climb during a real match. You got to climb and really secure that high leverage point. It's kind of wish I had, that's why I wish I had longer arms. But uh, you know you got you got to make do with what you got, right? It is what it is. So I just train. I'm like that, like, and I'm, bro, I'm telling you, if you, if you are an individual and you can lift something like this, like this, and you're putting like 100 pounds on that bitch, God damn, you're, you're probably like top eight in the world. Like you are strong. You just put it right here, just boom, 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 boom. Like you gotta be super, super strong. I'm out here. I put 70 to 75 pounds, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm crying. You know, I got tears running down my face. Hit it like that. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Man, I was doing these videos. I was recording and my phone died. I didn't even know. I got, I'm just gonna retake this. Well, this is my favorite movement of the of, of, of arm wrestling, right? I'm doing this three out of the five times in the week. Putting it on my door knocking knuckles, you know. Grip that motherfucker and you secure it in there. Boom, 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 boom. Once that gets fatigued, you can switch over, slide it to the index knuckle, right? Supinate a little bit, you know, so just a touch, so you're stronger. Right down, pulse, pulse, pulse. Booyah, Rafiki. So once that gets tired, you can switch over to the main meteor side of your palm. Pronate, dynamic pronation. Pulsing in there. Oh no, my finger's tired. I'm gonna switch over to my knuckles. I just like how all the pressure is in this tiny ass belt, man. Because when I grip up with the with the human, I want them to feel that I can apply and exert a lot of force. That uh, I'm not enough. 